You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. 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 I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me! Sarah's kite! Caillou had gone for a bike ride with his daddy. <gasps> Look! A kite! Can we go see Sarah? Sure. Let's go. Sarah? I like your kite. Thanks, Caillou. It's a Chinese kite. It's made of bamboo and rice paper. Rice paper? <laughs> yeah, but you don't eat it. Did you notice the kite has a dragon on it, Caillou? Yeah, I like dragons. Do you want to fly it? Me? Sure. Is that okay, Daddy? Of course. I'll go and put our bikes away. <gasps> oh, no! Come back here! Whoa! Ugh. Are you all right? Oh, no! Your kite! Oh, I hope it's not broken. felt terrible. He didn't mean to ruin Sarah's kite. I'm sorry, Sarah. I didn't mean to break it. I know. <sighs> Accidents happen. Maybe Daddy can help. Daddy! Be careful, Daddy. I'll be careful. Just a little further. Got it! Is it really, really broken? I'm afraid so. Caillou? Caillou felt responsible for breaking Sarah's kite. But he thought he knew how to fix the problem. I know it's here somewhere. to the old kite. Oh, I see. What a shame. It's all my fault, Mommy. Can we please buy Sarah a new kite, please? I've got money. Well, that's very thoughtful of you, Caillou. Yeah. Thanks, Caillou. I'm sorry, kids. I called the toy store, but they're all out of kites. But I broke Sarah's kite. I have to get her a new one. Maybe we can make a new one, Caillou. I'm sure I could find some instructions on the internet. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Caillou wasn't so sure. He didn't think a homemade kite would be as good as a kite from a store.
doggone glue. How are those pictures coming along? Look, it's a princess. Nice. Do you like my scary dragon? Ah! <laughs> He's not that scary. A dragon and a princess. Now that sounds perfect for a kite. Bring them here and we'll get started. Okay. Caillou wasn't quite as excited as Sarah. He was afraid a homemade kite wouldn't turn out very well. Can't we call another toy store, Daddy? Maybe another store will have kites. This kite is going to be great, Caillou. You'll see. amazed. Their homemade kite had turned out very well. I like it. It's windy. Let's see if it'll fly. Okay. I'll help you. I'm right here, Caillou. Something looks different. Oh, I think I see what's wrong. The string is tied to the wrong place. You're right, Sarah. Here, let me fix it for you. No glue on my fingers, I promise. There, that should do it. Give it a try. Thanks, Daddy, thank you. Okay, Caillou, let's go. Caillou could hardly believe it. Their homemade kite was really flying. Look at it go! Yay! All right! Caillou, Sarah, good news! I found a toy store that sells kites. We could take a look if you like. No thanks. This kite's great. Yeah, here Caillou, your turn. Caillou and Sarah loved their new kite. It was much better than the kite from the store because they had made it together. Very excited. He was having Leo and Sarah over for a special play date. Hi, Hi Leo. Leo. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi to you too, Murphy. Now that you're all here, what are you kids going to do? Do you want to play in my backyard? <laughs> <laughs> Murphy likes that idea. So do I. Me too. Caillou, over here. I'm open. Hey, Murphy, that pass was mine. Murphy! The ball looks like a squashed pumpkin. I guess we'll have to find something else to do. Do you want to toss a disc? Sure. But let's be quiet so we don't wake up Murphy. <laughs> Throw it to me! Throw it to me! Wow, you're really good at this. Nice catch, Sarah.
Sorry, Caillou. I loaned our ladder to a neighbor. Looks like you'll have to find something else to do for a while. Caillou looked around the yard, but there wasn't a toy in sight. Um, I know. Let's play with the toys in my room. I've got sculpting clay. Yeah, and remote control cars. And tabletop hockey. Hey. Caillou had lots of exciting toys, but there was a small problem. He couldn't get into his bedroom. What's wrong, Caillou? Sorry, you can't come in. I'm painting your room, remember? Oh, I forgot. But I just wanted to get some of my toys to play with. All of your things are packed in boxes right now, Caillou. And there's paint everywhere. You'll have to wait a little while, okay? Okay. Sorry, guys. No modeling clay. Or remote control cars. Or tabletop hockey. That was nice of you to fetch your skipping rope, Sarah. Yeah, this is fun. Playing with Sarah's skipping rope was ideal until Murphy awoke from his nap and decided to join in the fun. No, Murphy, no! Murphy thought this was a fantastic game. Murphy? <laughs> Good dog. I got it! Oh, no! Oh, dear. Looks like we're going to need a new skipping rope. That's the third one this week. Caillou was feeling frustrated. His play date was not turning out how he'd hoped. Come on. Okay. Hi, kids. Hi, Mommy. Is it okay if we look for something to play with? Sure, but I don't think you'll find much down here. Aw, just gardening stuff. I found some tennis balls and sticks. <sighs> Whoopee. Rubber gloves. Caillou and his friends looked around, but all they found were odds and ends. It seemed there wasn't anything to play with. What are you doing, Mommy? I'm opening up old cans of paint. I plan to mix the colors together to make a new color for your dresser. As Caillou watched Mommy, he suddenly had an idea. Maybe we can make up something new too. Like a new game with all the tennis balls and sticks and stuff. Yeah, okay. The kids worked very hard at creating their new game. We can each have our own ball. And special sticks. Oops. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it right. I must say, this is going to be one interesting playing field. Looks like we've got our goalie. <laughs> no, Murphy, that's not for you. Caillou and his friends were now ready to play their game. They even had a name for it. Yay, fun ball! <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen in Fun Bowl. The only rule is to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, sorry. I've got your ball. <laughs> Caillou! I finally have some toys and games for you. Thanks, Mommy. But we don't need them anymore. Our new game is lots of fun. Well then, I'd better let you get back to it. Come on, let's play! A he scores! Goal! Nice one! <laughs> Murphy! That day, Caillou and his friends had lots of fun together. 
They didn't need toys or games. They made their own fun. <laughs> Leo. Thanks. My mom bought me this cool marker. It glows. Really? Yeah, but it only glows in the dark. You have to see it at night. Caillou was intrigued. He'd never seen a marker that glowed in the dark before. Can I borrow it? Uh, I don't know. I really need it. I'm supposed to make a special birthday card for my grandma. Please, I'll bring it back to you tomorrow. Well, um, okay. Just don't forget. Promise. Caillou was very excited to try out Leo's marker. He could hardly wait to see how it glowed in the dark. There. Cool. Not dark enough yet. Caillou, dinner time. Caillou knew that dinner time meant it would soon be dark outside. Then the marker would really glow. Coming, Mommy. <laughs> I'm glad you like your peas, Caillou. But slow down. You must really be hungry tonight. Uh-uh. I'm in a hurry. What's the rush? I can't wait for it to be dark. <laughs> Did you hear that, dear? Caillou's in a hurry to go to bed tonight. Bedtime? <laughs> no. I borrowed Leo's marker. It glows in the dark. I'm going to try it out. I bet it's really glowy. I have to admit, that's a pretty neat marker. And a very nice drawing. Thank you, Daddy. It is pretty glowy. <laughs> Don't forget to give Leo his marker back tomorrow. I won't. Come on over here. <laughs> hey, Caillou. Can I have my marker back? <laughs> oh, no. I forgot it. But you said you'd bring it. I'm sorry, Leo. I'll bring it tomorrow. What if you forget again? I need it. I haven't made a card for my grandma yet. I'll remember. I promise. Hey, do you want to help me build a tower? Okay. Bye, Caillou. Don't forget. Forget what? Caillou had already forgotten about his promise to Leo. My marker! You promised to bring it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Caillou wasn't sure how he'd remember to bring Leo's marker. Mommy, how do you remember things? Remember things? Well, sometimes I write them down. Like my grocery list when we go shopping. But what if you can't write? Well, I'd probably draw a picture to remind myself. Yeah! Caillou thought that was a great idea. He'd draw a picture to remind himself of Leo's marker. Aha! Uh -huh. There! Now I won't forget. Hey there, Caillou. How about a quick game of soccer before dinner? Yeah, okay. Bye! Did you bring my marker? Oh, no! I forgot again! Caillou, you promised! I'm sorry. I drew a picture to remind me. I put it on my dresser, but I didn't see it. You need to remember. I know. 
I'm sorry. I'll bring it tomorrow. I triple promise. Caillou felt really bad. He wanted to make it up to Leo. Here, Leo. You can have some of my stickers if you want. Thanks. I can use them on my grandma's card. When I make it. Remember to clean desks. Caillou needed to find a way to remember Leo's marker. And seeing Miss Martin stick a reminder note to her desk gave him an idea. Leo, can I have one of my stickers back? How come? I have an idea to help me remember your marker. Time to get up. <sighs> Gilbert, shoo. Stop! No thanks, Rosie. I don't need a straw. happy to borrow Caillou's sticker, and Caillou was happy to have a way to always remember something important. Mm -hmm. 